Latrobe farmer Jason Deering is counting the cost of flood damage to his property. He's one of many in the area that's been hit hard. We've lost most of the fences or damaged most of the fences on the front half of our farm and the driveway sort of needs a lot of work done to it. He's one of the locals who came to a flood recovery drop-in centre that's been set up in Latrobe to get people back on their feet. And that task is a big one, with a damage bill that continues to rise. I would imagine it will be in the uh, many uh, you know, tens of millions of dollars uh, potentially. There is a lot of clean up work to do. Insurers have received 400 insurance claims from Tasmanian residents and thousands from interstate. It's likely to push up premiums. While there's been a number of individual flood floods, collectively this is starting to mount to be a significant cost to the insurance sector in Australia. Work continues on clearing a major landslide at Poatina. The weather event not just bringing down a major transmission line. The Poatina Hydro Power Station remains shut after flooding caused machinery to fail. As the community turns to the big task of repairing and rebuilding, it's facing existing problems, a lack of tradespeople and construction materials. And people are already waiting a long time for that work to get done and it's just going to yeah, be a bit of a delay. One of the significant challenges has been the massive shortage of trades available. Uh, we lost a lot of labour during the COVID period uh, and we're seeing incredible demand. More stress for a community already doing it tough. Damien McIntyre, ABC News, Latrobe.